Okay, so screen recording, file, new screen recording, record. So you have your presentation, it's all ready to go, you have your slides, and you want to film a lesson of you delivering your slides, maybe you want to show a demo, and then you also want to have you talking on camera. So let me show you how that is all possible within Zoom. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. So let's open up Zoom. So you're going to start a new meeting. And then when you start the meeting, it's just going to be you in the meeting. To increase the audio quality, I suggest that you plug in a mic. However, if you don't have a mic, that's okay. You can use your headphones. So just grab a pair of headphones. Wired headphones will do just fine. And then they'll have the mic right there so you can just plug it into your computer and use that audio. It will be better source audio than using your computer audio. So there's your backup plan. So when you want to record your presentation, if you don't see record here on the bottom, you would go to more, and then it says record to this computer. If you don't see this as an option, you can go over to Zoom, log into your account, and then you're going to see on the side here, settings, go into your settings and then you'll see at the top here recording so then make sure you are available to record allowed cloud you're only going to be allowed to record to cloud so that's on a server not on your computer when you have a paid zoom version if you don't have a paid zoom version you're not able to record to cloud also note, when you're recording to cloud, it takes more bandwidth. So if you want to record on cloud, but you have bad internet, it's a bad idea. Instead, you're gonna to wanna to record to your computer. So we're gonna go back over to Zoom, and then when we see here more, we're gonna to record to this computer. This could also appear at the bottom as a record button. So let me see. If I make this bigger, you'll see I have here the record button. So I could use this record button when I press that, then it's going to give me the option of recording to this computer or recording to cloud. But when my window is smaller, then I need to use that more option to access the extra features. So let's go more, let's record to this computer. So I'm gonna start recording to this computer. Recording in progress. So now I can start by delivering whatever intro to my lesson I want to do. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how, I'm going to teach you a little bit more about my YouTube mastermind. So when you're done talking to camera, you can either pause or stop the recording. By pausing the recording, it's going to allow you to make a cut within the video. So if I pause Before now, I it's going to continue recording when I resume recording and it's going to create one giant video clip out of it. However, if I press stop, then it's going to separate them into different video clips. So if I want to create a video that has minimal editing later, then I want to pause it and then get ready for the next setup. So say in the next setup, I want to go through my presentation. I'm gonna go over to Canva, I'm gonna press present, and then I'm gonna to toggle back to Zoom, and I'm gonna to go to share. I'm gonna select the full presentation, share, and now I can talk about this presentation. So if I want to talk about this presentation and I want to continue recording, I'm just gonna hover up here. I'm gonna to go to more. I'm gonna to go to resume recording. Recording in progress. And now I can talk about my presentation. As long as this window here on the side is open like this so you can see yourself, you're going to appear in that corner of your video. However, if you don't want to do that, you can just minimize it and then you won't appear there. It will be just the presentation and your audio. So you're talking, your voice talking through the presentation. So you can go through your presentation and deliver it 
and then say for example I'm gonna pause this and then I want to show a demonstration so I can stop my share and I could share for example I can share my desktop so let's go share my desktop so now you can see my desktop and then I can show you maybe my Asana board, maybe how I schedule within Zoom or any kind of demonstration. And if I want to record this, you can see when the menu doesn't appear up here to record, all you do is just have to hover over on top of the, your screen sharing um, remote. Like so you see the green, just hover on top of it and that will appear. So let's resume recording and let's show you how to Let's add myself. So there we go. So I'm talking and I'm going to be showing you how to schedule a meeting in Zoom. And then if I'm done, remember, I hover over that green and then I can pause that recording. And so I'm done with that recording. Now I can go back to just me talking on camera to the lesson to the students just finishing it off. So let's go back to can also press play here on the side when I see just this um, I can see the play button then I can just resume recording recording in progress and there you have it so now you know what my YouTube mastermind class involves and how to schedule a zoom meeting I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and when you're done just press stop recording and that's your lesson. So it, you can combine sharing your screen, you can share your desktop, you can do your presentation, you can appear in the video or not. And then once you're done uh, filming everything, you just end your call. And it's going to start converting that meeting into a video. So here is my video going to put it into show you the folder right away. I can open it. So now I can start by deliver. So there is my lesson. So you can see me delivering it without me. You can see my screen share with me and then me talking on camera at the end. So there you have it. Now you know how to record yourself on Zoom so that you can teach on Zoom. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you probably want to check out this video of how to improve your Zoom video quality. Until next time, peace.